What's going on guys? Big Tom from Big Tom and the Vaping Crew. Today is that day of the week that you all love. It's that Wednesday night whinge. Uh, last week I obviously mentioned about uh, vaping burnt a hole in my lung. I purposely think that these newspapers are bringing out articles just for me on a Wednesday so I can fucking scream about them. I definitely think that. Um, today there's been an article, I'm just looking at the other screen, um, says, the headline to it is, e-cigarette explodes in man face and leaves him in a coma. This is from the Daily Star.co.uk, uh, dated on today's date, so it's pump published to today's date. Um, I'm going to read the article to you. This article uh, is obviously published on an English paper, but it was... It did take place in Miami in the States. Um, and there's pictures and everything. And at the end of the article, which I'll go through after I've read the article, it, it just basically goes off on one. Um, so, I don't know how to say the guy's name. I believe it's Evan Spagliga. Was found on the floor with the upper half of his body covered in soot after the device he was puffing on reportedly blew up. The 21-year-old was discovered with burns on his face and neck. His sister, Emma Richardson, found the victim after hearing an explosion. She said, I was laying in bed with my two-year-old and heard an explosion. Then I started smelling burning and smoke and fire. His face and upper part of his body was covered in soot. The e-cigarette he had been puffing on exploded. I found my brother not breathing with the with the with his whole face burned and his neck burned and trying to throw up a little or maybe he was gasping for air. That's exactly what it says. Um Mr Spallinger um has been left with ex internal, external burns and damage to his lungs. We've got another damage to the fucking lungs. Uh, there's pictures of him and everything like that, swagging out at on backwards, giving it the full, you know, west side shit. Um, he was taken to NCH downtown Naples Hospital before he was flown to under the hospital in Miami, CBS reported. The fire service said the explosion was more was was likely to have been caused by the e-cigarettes lithium battery. The incident happened just a few days after an electronic cigarette caused a full-scale alert on a plane when it caught fire in a passenger's hand luggage. And then it goes on to talk about that story, which he says terrified passengers started to scream when the Boeing seven three seven. Uh, Malindo air flight over Borneo started to fill with smoke. And then obviously then there's pictures of vaping. And then it also goes on at the end. As I said, at the end of the article, it starts listing articles where they've said about e-cigarettes. So, the dad of three, who got the nicotine or got the e-liquid this is what it says here was put in hospital after spewed molten nicotine fluid down his throat and burned a hole in his lung these seriously these articles must be coming out on a wednesday just because they know that i'm recording a fucking video um I'll link in the description to the actual article. It looks like it's a hybrid mod with a velocity on there. Um, looks a bit cruddy, but doesn't look like it's exploded or anything like that. It looks like it's in one piece. Um, once again, it's these fucking bullshit stories coming and talking absolute shit. Um... I can understand where they're saying, obviously, if it, if a battery was to vent, you know, you're not going to know it's going to get hot. You, you literally, if you've ever had a venting battery or 
you know, you've heard somebody talk about a venting battery, they'll tell you before it vents, it gets extremely fucking hot. Um, you're going to throw this fucking mod, you're going to get rid of it, you're going to get it, you know, get it out of the way. The only way it's really going to burn his face and burn his neck is if he's vaping on it, it's got hot in his hand, he's carried on and it's fucking exploding his face. But the picture of the mod and the velocity RDA on top is all one piece. Um, they're saying it's exploded in his face were he fucking sucking on the bottom end of the mod you know I just don't the picture of the mod they're giving as evidence to say this is the mod that's done it does, looks in one part you know it doesn't look battered in any sort of way it looks a bit cruddy which obviously a fucking you know mods wear and tear but it doesn't look like it's fucking exploded and gone into someone's face and whacked him in a coma We've just had the news in the States, obviously, of all the, you know, the news going over there that they're trying to ban 99% of all fucking juice mods and stuff, and they start releasing these stories. It's um, becoming a weekly occurrence now, guys, where we're getting these stories, and it's, um, I wouldn't say it's becoming a joke, it's becoming um, destroying. Um, it can do a lot to the industry, and a lot of people are thinking these stories are true and that you know a lot of people who don't know about the the industry as in hobbyists are, are just are just reading these stories and the negativity is massive around vaping at the minute um it, it, it's scary it really is scary that we know that these fucking papers and these news anchors and you know these news stations are just basically putting a massive negativity on vaping and it, it's going to affect the industry in the long run and this is literally what they're doing it for um yeah there is stories out there that are probably true but at this moment in time with all the stuff that's going on with inside the industry is all these news articles are just popping up and cropping up and just every now and then, you know it, it's becoming a weekly thing where people are absolutely fucking going at the industry and going at vapors and making it look a bad light because you can tell they want to get rid of it but as i say check out the link in the description check out the pictures check out the article you know it's a daily star fucking article you know what the daily star are like you don't ever fucking believe anything's put in that fucking comic because it's not a fucking paper and uh check that out um i think <sighs> I'm going to make a better light and uh, have a little vape. I'll tell you what I have got coming as well, guys. Um, later on in a, in a blog. Um, but to make myself a little bit happier, I'm going to take a vape. So... And uh, I'll see you all soon. Take it easy, guys. Uh, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and don't put yourself in a coma. See you all soon. Peace!